Okay, welcome to UK, Canada, and South Africa, turn six. Uh, UK Pacific has 11 IPCs to spend. They're going to buy a transport and a mechanized infantry. Uh, UK Atlantic is back in the game and they have 21 IPCs to spend. They're going to upgrade their factory from a minor to, or a minor to a major uh, for 10 IPCs. Uh, they're going to spend 9 IPCs on 3 infantry and they're going to save 2 IPCs for next turn. Canada has 7. They're going to buy a transport and um, uh, South Africa also has 7. They're going to buy an infantry and a mechanized infantry. Uh, all of the attacks uh, are walk-ins, so we'll just uh, say what those are and then move directly on to non-combat. Uh, in the Mediterranean, uh, the Brits are going to load up a mechanized infantry onto a transport and go to C-Zone 96 and drop off in Libya. The Canadians are going to go from Syria in their transport to C-Zone 94 and claim Tunisia. Um, in the Pacific, on the Pacific side of the board, uh, the English are going to help out their Chinese allies and send a mechanized infantry from Kwai Chow to Shantung and liberate that, and a tank from Kwai Chow to Jehol and liberate that. Uh, so that's... Oh, sorry, there's one more attack. Uh, the Canadians uh, are going to be liberating um, Malaya for their... Um, uh, for their allies. Okay, so uh, no dice to roll, so I'll be back in a second with non-combat. Right, non-combat for the British, the Canadian, and the uh, South African forces. The Canadian um, destroyer in 106 is going to move to 109. Uh, the Canadian transport in 109 is going to get the two infantry from the UK and scoot them over into Holland, Belgium for defense. The destroyer in 91 is going to join the American fleet in C-Zone 110. Uh, in the med, the um, battleship and carrier in 98 are going to move to 94 to protect the Canadian transport. And the two cruisers in the destroyer from 98 are going to move to 96 to protect the British transport. Um, the other British transport is going to move from 98 to 81, so that it's a little bit safer there. Um, South African moves. There's an infantry in Anglo-Egyptian Sudan that's going to go up to Egypt. Uh, the mech infantry and the tank from Belgian Congo are going to come up to Egypt. And then way down in South Africa, the infantry is going, or sorry, the uh, uh, artillery is going to board the transport. And the transport's going to go to C-Zone 72, pick up the guy from Kenya, and then proceed to C-Zone 81 and drop off in Egypt. Um, moving east, the uh, infantry and artillery that were in uh, eastern Persia uh, are going to move, uh, they're going to get on the boat and move to C-Zone 39 and drop off in India. The um, mech infantry and the tank in India, along with the infantry, artillery, and anti-aircraft from Burma are all going to end up in Yunnan. Uh, the three infantry from Kwai Chow are going to move into Hunan, and the two fighters and the tactical bomber from Kwai Chow are going to move into Kuang Tung. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. All right, so let me tidy up the board, and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, placement of new units, Canadian Transport and C-Zone 106. Uh, UK upgrades its factory from a minor to a major and three infantry are placed in the United Kingdom. Um, way, way down in South Africa we place our infantry and mechanized infantry and all the way over in India, we're going to place our transport and our mechanized infantry. Okay, income adjustments. Uh, Malaya is liberated, so the U UK Pacific is going to go up three, and then uh, Jehol and Shantung have been liberated, so China is going to go up three, so that's 
UK Pacific from 14 to 17, China from 14 to 17, and then Japan from 35 to 29. Um, on the Atlantic side of the board, we have uh, Italy losing two IPCs, and UK Atlantic and Canada gaining an IPC each. So Italy loses two, they go from 13 to 11. Canada goes up to 10, and uh, UK Atlantic goes up to 22. So purchase uh, uh, money, sorry. Um, so South Africa earns six IPCs, Canada earns 10 IPCs. Uh, UK Atlantic earns 24 IPCs, and UK Pacific earns 17. However, uh, they are being convoyed uh, in C Zone 20. Uh, off the coast of Kwangtung, so they could lose up to three um, IPCs. So let's see uh, if they lose anything. So remember, ones, twos, or threes. Uh, yeah, so they lose five, they can only lose three. So instead of having uh, 17, they're going to have uh, 14. 14. Okay, disposition of forces. Canadians. Uh, three infantry in Quebec, one um, transport in 106, one transport in 110, and two infantry in Holland, Belgium. Uh, one transport in C Zone 94, one infantry in Tunisia, uh, and then one infantry way, way all the way down there in Malaya. So that's all the Canadian forces. South African forces, one transport in C Zone 39, one transport in C Zone 81, uh, and then we have uh, two infantry, one mech infantry, one artillery, and one tank in Egypt. And then down in South Africa, we have an uh, infantry and a mech infantry. I think that's all the South African units. Uh, British units, okay, in the UK, three infantry. In C Zone 94, uh, one um, uh, battleship, one carrier, and uh, one fighter on the carrier. In Malta, one anti aircraft. In Libya, one mechanized infantry. In C Zone 96, a cru two cruisers, a destroyer, and a transport ship. In Egypt, one um, strategic bomber. In C Zone 81, one um, transport ship. In C Zone 39, one transport ship. In India, um, one infantry, one mech infantry, and one artillery, uh, sharing the space, of course, with one um, Anzac unit, a Dutch unit, and uh, uh, a Dutch artillery and any aircraft. In Yunnan, uh, infantry, artillery, any aircraft, mech infantry, tank. Uh, Hunan, three infantry. Kwang Tung, one uh, ar uh, any aircraft, one fi uh, one uh, tank, one tack bomber, and two fighters. In Shantung, um, uh, mech infantry in Jehol, tank. And then, of course, all the way down in Sumatra, one infantry and one artillery. Uh, so I think that is all of the British, Canadian, and South African forces across the board. Um, the minor powers, Anzac, Dutch, and French, are next.